Hello and welcome back to Brand Station Live Loading. In this episode, I want to show you how you can bake uh, like a procedural texture from this uh, mesh into another mesh that has a lot of instance from uh, created using geometry nodes. And then you kind of transfer the color. So occasionally you want to do this just for artistic purpose. For example, if you are doing like a 3D scan and you get a mesh and texture, you want to be able to kind of convert it into this type of uh, geometry. So let me show you how I did this. So the second second object already have geometry nodes and the setup is really simple. How I transfer the color is basically by using the capture attribute. But in order to do this, we need to first bake the texture into the mesh, into the vertex color. Okay, so when you're doing this type of thing, uh, you want to bake uh, the color into the vertex color. So it's kind of like a intermediate um, data that you want to transfer into the instance, which is this guy over here. So currently I'm using the cylinder. For instance, I can reduce the geometry of the cylinder, just turning it into, turning it into triangles. And so from this torus, I distribute some points. And then I'm using the cylinder as the instance. And then I need, uh, I use the realize instances and simply we capture the color uh, points or actually we can use I think it's a color from points we simply pass in the attributes color which is already baked and then pass it into uh, the new shader okay in this case this is the shader and it's using a subsurface scattering so we have like a soft look so this color is being transferred into this torus. Okay, so might be slightly confusing. Uh, let me try. So the original shader, for example, if I get rid of the, actually no, we keep the vertex color. So what's happening? Okay, if I duplicate this guy and then just get rid of the vertex color and we do a render. So this is the original color, right? We, we can change this color into whatever, just randomize it. So it's using Fortnite texture, right? With RGB curve. So let's say we have this result now. We want this color and we want to first bake the color into the vertex. So I create a vertex color and we simply do uh, bake, but the target instead of image textures, we want it to be vertex color. So it's gonna bake it into itself. So this might take uh, just a few seconds. Our geometry has a lot of uh, mesh resolutions, by the way, before we even do this. I can try actually doing this instead of using torus, we can use like a, the monkey head. But the first step is basically from procedural shader or texture, we bake it into the vertex color. Okay, so I just did a bake. If we switch to this mode with the vertex color, we can see the vertex color. So it's not, uh, it's jaggy, but it's uh, we have the data now stored in inside these objects, and we want to transfer it in transfer it into something like this. So this seems to have like a more uh, mesh and procedurality, and we simply use the geometry nodes and. We use the setup that we created before and we should have the result instantly okay 
so let's see we can pass in the density and increase this to 1000 so we can play around with the density so this is the new color based on the new shader so it's really it's really that simple uh, and this can work uh, either way but basically so the process is <clears throat> you have like a procedural shader or texture and then you bake the color data into vertex color and then from this vertex color we simply use the geometry node setup like this transfer the, uh, the color into the instance set the material and then the new shader will uh, produce this result that's the process it's a, what's interesting however is that you can you can transfer this color into a new uh, vertex color and then use that to bake it into image texture i'm i'm not gonna do that at the, uh, for now but i will show you uh this is another example okay this is my selfie right um i recolor some of this and get rid of this okay, oh, I mean, just reuse okay the same same thing happens here so i basically i started i scan myself using the iphone or whatever method you do for 3d scanning and and then i bake my texture into the vertex color and then after i do that i simply instance uh, distribute some points on the mesh and then instance new new objects so it could be a triangle it could be uh, maybe star I need to fill the curve anyway you get the idea from, so from the star fill the curve subdivide actually we don't need to subdivide simply use it to instance into points and then I and then use the capture attribute nodes transfer the vertex color into this you can use any of these points face corner instance I think any will do I think color point is the correct one and then realize instances and then I did a bit of extrusions and this is the result so it's basically just transferring transferring color from vertex color into the mesh 0.002 let me try like random okay yeah this is seems to be working can play around totally with this curve just get a new type of uh, just new variations of the texture because we want to create like some kind of art right and yeah you can actually bake this into the color again like I said all you need to do is transfer the attributes into just output this color into a new color and then you bake and then you then you tell blender to bake this into image texture okay so that that part is slightly tricky it's kind of like a, this process could be simpler but uh, for now so you basically do a 3d scan bake it into vertex color and then instance the color into uh, new objects that just create new details and then you bake everything create 
UV texture and then rebake it into the final objects and then you can create like an AR objects so yeah so that's the whole process hopefully you find this uh, interesting and useful uh, try this yourself hopefully you find this uh, useful for what you're doing thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye